Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to review some mental math strategies for addition. And my first strategy or technique is adding in parts. And you surely know how much is 9 plus 8. It is 17. But we're going to look at it this way, that if we add in parts, we will break this 8 into two parts. It's going to become 1 and 7. And then we add 9 and 1 first, these two first, making 10. And then we get 10 and 7, which is 17. You might remember this also being the ninth trick from second grade and first grade, where 9 wants to be 10, so it takes 1 from the 8. And so 9 and 1 then makes 10, and then 8 is left just 7. 30 plus 17. If we add in parts, then I will take this number 17 and think of it as 10 and 7. So I will add 30 and 10 first, and lastly the 7. So this makes 40 and then the 7, so 47. Over here, 24 plus 52. When we add in parts, then I will break this number, or think of it as 20 and 4, and this number as 50 and 2, okay? And then I will add 20 and 50, which is 70, and then 4 and 2, which is 6, right? So I get 76. So the thinking is thinking of it as 20 and 4 and 50 and 2, and then adding 20 and 50, and then 4 and 2. Let's try the same here, 37 plus 16. So I think of it as 30 and 7 and 10 and 6, right? And then over here, 7 and 6. You know that from your addition facts, right? 7 and 6, those would make 13. So in total, I have 30 and 10. And then this one is also 10 and 3, right? 30 and 10 and 10, and then 3. So what do we get? Should be 53, right? So that is one of our ideas for mental addition. Here's another one. And that is that we first have a helping problem, so to speak. 5 plus 7, we know the answer to. It is 12. Okay? Or it is 2 more than 10. It fills the 10 and goes 2 over, so to speak. So then over here, 25 plus 7. The 5 plus 7, again, it fills the 10, the next 10, and is 2 more than that. So 25 and 7 becomes 30 and 2, okay, 32. Two more than the next 10. And this one also becomes two more than the next 10. So it becomes 62, right? Can you see that? 50 plus 70, okay. 5 and 7 makes 12, so how about 50 and 70? It's 5 tens and 7 tens. So we get 12 tens, which is 120. And now we can use that to help us figure out these two. 150 and 70. The 50 and 70 here makes 120, right? And then there is 100. So the total will be 220. Or you can think of it, like I explained here, that since this sum goes 20 over the next 100, this one, too, goes 20 over the next 100. And this one, too. The answer is 720. Notice they all end in 20. Okay, now you try these two problems on your own. You can add in parts, okay? What do we get? 62 and 28. Okay, the 2 and 8 makes 10. 60 and 20 and 10. Should be 90, right? Then over here, 8 and 7. If I add 8 and 7, I get 15. And then I have 30 
and 40 and 15. So 70, 85, right? Okay. Is that Matthew? He's saying I should use his favorite number and not all these other numbers. You know what, Matthew? I am using your favorite number. It's way over here. Look. Way over here. 99. We do have it coming. Okay? Okay. <laughs>